Hi, this is Vicki, Condi Systems Tech Support. Today I want to talk about the 990 era that could possibly show up on your Ricoh printers, GX7000, 3300, and your GX5050. A 990 era, first of all, I want to explain to you what that is, and that usually means that somehow, some way, we've got an error in the line. So according to Ricoh, uh, they have a way which will possibly get the error out of the line, and what I want to do is process you through that if you should get a 990 error, I hope that this technique will be helpful in getting the error out of the line. If for some reason it doesn't work, then possibly your uh, maintenance unit has went out. So what I'd like for you to do is watch this video if you have a 990, try these techniques, and then if you have trouble or if you have concerns with them, you can call us here, we'll help you through it, and then we'll talk about what to do afterwards. So let's get started on working this 990 error. We have a 3300 here, and this will work with the 5050 or the 7000. And uh, this printer does not have a 990 error, and so I can't generate one, so we're going to work with one that doesn't. The technique will be the same. How you uh, process this error will be the same, so it won't matter. You're going to open the bay door, and there's a sequence, so make sure you follow it step by step from right to left. Um, we're going to pull the far right cartridge first, which is the yellow cartridge. And once you pull the cartridge out, you want to verify there's nothing wrong with the cartridge. And uh, make sure that, uh, you know, when you pull it out, there's no, vis no visible damage or anything. Again, as I said, this is a error in which air has gotten into the lines. So you're going to reseat this yellow cartridge and the yellow cartridge only. Make sure you push it in all the way. Make sure you hear it snap, all those things. You're going to close the bay door, and then you're going to turn your power back on. And what we hope for here, when you turn the power back on, is it's going to prime the line. And priming the line means that you're moving ink through the line, trying to minimize any air in the line, starting with the yellow cartridge. Now what's going to happen or not happen is your 990 will or will not come back up. And if it does, then we're going to repeat the process starting uh, the second one from the far right, which coming over one would be your magenta cartridge, and you'll pull that cartridge out. And so you're going to power it off at this point, pretending that there is still a 99 arrow. You're shutting it down as if there's a 990 arrow, and you're going to open the bay door, and you're going to pull the magenta cartridge out this time. So this is the next to the, the neck, right next to the yellow one. So you'll pull that one out, verify there's no damage, place the cartridge back in, snap it in there right, make sure you got a good seal, and then again you'll close the bay door and you'll turn the power back on. This would prime the line again. Anyway, so forth, so on, you'll do this four times unless the 990 era has gone away, say I turn this back on and the 990 error has went away, then we've solved the issue. If not, then you'll move to the cyan and then the black, shutting the printer off in between and turning it back on, which primes the line each time. And in addition, if those four times don't work, then you can continue to turn the power off and back on without taking the cartridges out three more times, which would prime the line three more times. So we're moving to the cyan, receipt, close the door, power back on. And so what we hope to accomplish here is getting rid of the 990 error by continuing to prime the line, because you can't do anything else when you have this error. Okay, so I've demonstrated how to get rid of a 990 error as best technique as we know how here at Condi per RICO. And if you have any questions about the procedure, you can call us here at Condi. You can speak with anyone in our support staff who can walk you through these steps or make sure that you've done it correctly. If these procedures don't work, give RICO a call. You can get their number by going to RICO.com or once you've called us, we can give you the number so that you can call them. Again, 
This is Vicki with Condi Systems. Thank you for your time.